The Red Sea, which separates Africa and the Middle East, is undeniably one of the most important shipping routes in the world. In the north, it connects to the Suez Canal, offering an easy passage into the Mediterranean. In the south, it opens up into the Gulf of Aden and the Indian Ocean via the Bab al-Mandeb Strait. At present, ships are the only mode of transportation that can traverse this strait. Soon, however, they may be joined by cars and trains overhead. The proposed Bridge of the Horns would cross the strait at its most narrow point, offering a direct link between Djibouti in the west and Yemen in the east. The proposed plan for the super project would cross the 28.5 km strait with enough space for a six-lane highway and four light rail tracks, with gas and water pipelines running alongside. This would give it the daily capacity for 100,000 cars and 50,000 rail passengers. The majority of the strait would be crossed with causeways just above the water. The real challenge would involve accommodating the massive number of ships that pass through the strait. To do this, a 5 kilometer long suspension bridge would be built. This would allow traffic to continue flowing while Suez Max ships pass underneath in both directions. The project would be completed in two phases. The first phase would involve building a 3.5 kilometer long bridge between mainland Yemen and the island of Perun, and 4 kilometers of highway on the island itself. The next phase would involve connecting Perun to the coast of Djibouti. This would be done with 13 kilometers worth of suspension bridges and 8 kilometers of girder bridges. The project would be extremely expensive. Estimates suggest that the crossing alone would cost about $20 billion to complete. However, the crossing is simply one part of a much larger project that would cost about $200 billion. As part of this project, a pair of cities known as Al Nur City would be built at either end of the crossing. The city on the African side would have an estimated 2.5 million inhabitants, while its counterpart would have about 4.5 million inhabitants. The planners would outfit the two cities with a highway connected to Dubai, an airport with an annual capacity for 100 million passengers, and everything else that comes with a modern metropolis. They hoped that this would allow the sister cities to become a financial, educational, and medical hub in Africa and the Middle East. This project is an extremely bold vision. On the one hand, it has the potential to create many jobs and bring prosperity, peace, and commerce to the region. However, there are also serious questions about the necessity and feasibility of the project. For one, some have wondered why a hub is being built in such a sparsely populated part of Africa with so little pre-existing infrastructure. Additionally, there are more practical questions. The bridge would lie in the middle of an earthquake zone and must be built to withstand the strong currents in the strait. Finally, there's the question of funding. Only about $50 billion of the $200 billion needed for the project have been raised, and there are many indications that the project could be even more expensive than originally anticipated. The project was announced with a lot of excitement at an opening ceremony with delegations from 19 different countries in 2009. Here, it was announced that phase one of the project was scheduled to begin in 2010 with the project to be completed in 2020. However, it was quickly announced that phase one had been delayed. Since then, there's been little news about the project. The ongoing civil war that broke out in Yemen in 2015, the Dubai debt crunch, and the enormous scale of the project are all likely reasons that progress has been slow. While the development company still insists that the project will be completed, it will take a lot more determination for this project to become a reality. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like and share this video. This has been Pigunis. Thanks for watching.